All right, back in Sports Barn. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Eric Arnold is late. It is, I don't know what it is. It's December 30th, uh, Wednesday, probably around 11 a.m. We got to get some games up here because the uh, afternoon slate is coming fast. Um, it's dark in here. To, I mean, darker than normal. But uh, I'm not sure what, what happened here. At any rate, a um, few housekeeping announcements. I made a politics barn video yesterday. <laughs> it's pretty awful. I mean, our production values suck as they are, but this one's even worse. Uh, I'm trying to like uh, uh, multitask, you know, as I, I, I took a walk, believe it or not, because I need to exercise. Because if I don't soon, I'll, you know, die of obesity. I have a story about that, but it'll have to wait for another episode. Uh, at any rate, I shot the video while I was walking, and it took forever, as usual. I mean, in other words, the file was huge. It took forever to edit. It took forever to compress. It took forever to upload. One thing about the politics barn on Rumble, <laughs> people have told me you can't find me. Hell, I know it's there, and I can't find me. There, there's one way I have found successfully to find me. When you go on the homepage of Rumble, there's a search bar at the top, and then next to that, there's a drop-down menu where you can search for videos or you can search for channels. You must search for channel, and the channel is Politics Barn, all one word. Politics Barn, all one word. If you search under my name, it doesn't come up. So that's the only way I've found my stuff. Um, you know, there's probably something I'm doing wrong before I indict Rumble. Uh, at any rate, I just don't have any time to spend on the politics barn. But in my effort to be all things to all people, I made a video yesterday. It's there. It's just me ruminating as I walk down the road. So if you want to see what beautiful... Berks County looks like in December. Hey, go there. <laughs> it's a nice, you know, it's a very choppy. Oh, 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 oh. I, I totally recommend that you don't watch it if you get seasick. <laughs> it's like a very bad body cam uh, uh, experience, like police body cam experience, because I just used the camera and just held it. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty awful. Uh, when was the next one going to be made? I don't know. I mean, I want to exercise again today, but the day's already getting short. So we'll see what happens. Um, all right. Yesterday, uh, another winner. I mean, uh, since I came back from, uh, uh, the great Midwest, uh, we've been putting some winning days together here. Um, Oklahoma state, they came through as I hoped, uh, Miami, porous defense uh oklahoma state gets up 21 nothing and managed to uh, milk that lead and barely get over the finish line with it well you know they don't say how they just say how many so that's a win um taxes they were much the best last night at the alamo dome uh colorado looked like uh they wanted to play a little bit there in spurts but texas Texas was there for the whole thing. They really wanted that game. And they got it easily by at least four touchdowns. Uh, this was a runaway winner. Central Michigan, uh, much the best in the MAC last night, winning outright over Eastern Michigan. Uh, USC, much the best on the West Coast over Santa Clara. Uh, and then this one didn't fire. I, kinda knew, I was nervous about this one. I, I just... 33 and a half points. Texas Tech is not a team that routinely scores 100. And I just kind of, when you're laying 33 and a half points, you better get a 90 or 100. If you score 75, you probably ain't going to cover. And that's what happened. So four wins, one loss. We'll take that every, every time, every goddamn time. Absolutely. So what do we got here? This goes at noon, which is coming quick. Um... This game's in Charlotte, I believe. Uh, th th this bowl game changes 
names every year. I don't even know who sponsors it this year. Uh, I think we're just going to call it the Charlotte Bowl until further notice because that basically that's all we need to know. You know, I did note that they dumped Cheez Its on Mike Gundy last night for winning the Cheez It Bowl. So they dumped Cheez Its on Mike Gundy. Um, hey, um, the Oklahoma State team, they get the NASCAR award for, uh, uh, pumping up the uh, sponsor, you know, that good for them. <laughs> good for them. Um, so I don't know what the sponsor is. It's in Charlotte. That's all we need to know. Is that a slight advantage for Wake Forest who is much closer to Charlotte than Wisconsin is? I don't know. Nobody's going to be there. It's a, you know, a friends and family type game. Um, you tell me how, Having 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 fans is what you would normally have for this bowl game. In an em a cold stadium outside, how that's dangerous. And, and you, you know, you are Daisy if you can explain that one to me. But no one will be there. And Wisconsin is the nine and a half point favorite. I Wisconsin's been pretty bad this year it's just not been a Wisconsin team you know they haven't played like Wisconsin they've lost games to teams are much better than uh, you know both teams I think have lost players for this bowl game uh, Wisconsin did end the season on a winning note beating their rival Minnesota uh, was Wake Forest lost I think to Louisville in their last game and my thought there is, I guess where we're coming down with this is that if you can't beat Louisville and you lost by three touchdowns to Louisville, I mean, how are you going to handle Wisconsin, even a bad Wisconsin team? So we're going to lay the nine and a half. It, typically, in a typical year, Wisconsin's kind of team, you don't want to see in a bowl game. Um, it's late in the year. Um, you're tired. You're beat up. Um, it, 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 some, some of your teammates may not want to be there. And these guys aren't going to play fancy dancy little, uh, uh, short pass West coast offense type football. These guys are coming to be, you know, they're coming to fight. They're coming to fight. They're coming to three yards in a cloud of AstroTurf. You, you don't want to play those kind of teams late in the year. Uh, unless you are one of those kind of teams, and I'm not so sure Wake Forest is. So uh, we're going to lay uh, the nine and a half here with Wisconsin. Got two stars there. This, I had three stars on this one, and then, you know, the number is exploding. <laughs> I mean, this open with Florida as a favorite uh, in the, uh, I guess this is the Cotton Bowl. Um and Florida, I guess, is just having all kinds of people to opt out. Either opt out, sick out, I don't know what, virus out, I, I can't keep track. Oklahoma, I, I'm not sure if they've had anybody opt out. Maybe they have, but the prevailing wisdom is that Florida has had a lot more people step out than Oklahoma has. This number, like I said, Florida was favored. Oklahoma's now a six-point favorite. So I think we got to go with the steam here. If both teams had a full deck, yeah, I think Florida would be a slight favorite over Oklahoma. But Oklahoma playing on the same surface they just played on against Iowa State, uh, a, a surface they play on probably at least once a year. So this is basically a home game for Oklahoma. Uh, there will be fans in the stands. They will be rooting for Oklahoma. I can promise you that. Uh, it's a very short drive from Norman down to Jerry World, two hours. And, yeah, this is basically a home game for Oklahoma. Um, definitely, yeah, we like Oklahoma here. Like I said, the number makes me a little nervous. That's high, you know. Florida is probably... 
probably a better team than Oklahoma if uh, both teams had a full deck, but they don't. So two stars there with Oklahoma. Now, college basketball, we got three off-the-wall games for you here. Uh, going early, uh, I think it was a 1 o'clock game, Furman and Chattanooga. I'm nervous about this one. I, it just... <sighs> Furman traditionally handles Chattanooga. Uh, Furman is from Greenville, South Carolina. In the SOCON, the Southern Conference, uh, but... Um, it, what makes me nervous is Chattanooga is undefeated. And I'm g giving an undefeated team, they're like 9 and 0. I'm giving an undefeated team seven points at home. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a system game. It, 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 there's a rationale for it, which I can't think of at the moment. I guess, you know, we're volume shooters here in the barn. So, you know, we like to give you action. Action, you know, look, there's, uh, what is there, uh, you know, there's 200-some picks up there of last year in college basketball, so we give you action. So we're going to go ahead and lay the points with Furman. Uh, Campbell Winthrop, eh, this one we like, um, you know, that's a lot of points in conference. Uh, 16 and a half Winthrop's laying. Uh, Campbell, again, I, uh, there was rationale here. And I don't see it written anywhere. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think this is one of these games where the tendency is for the big favorite to just kind of, oh, you know, it's little brother. You know, it's a team from your conference that you always handle, and uh, you're at home, and you you know you're gonna beat them. You, you just but. You know, you just don't have a real motivation to go out there and just destroy them. So you go out and you get your nice, easy seven, eight point win. Um, so, yeah, that's the thinking there. Same here with LaSalle. Now, this one I just looked at, so I have a little idea what to say here. Um, LaSalle, Dayton hadn't played in two weeks. Uh, they, they had two nice wins over the state of Mississippi earlier in the year. They beat Mississippi. They beat Mississippi State by a little, not a lot. And then they've been off for two weeks. LaSalle has played a little more recently than Dayton has. Uh, LaSalle has had a couple nice outings recently. Um, they beat Delaware, uh, which, you know, is not – Terrible, you know, Delaware's, uh, um, that's an up-and-coming uh, colonial team. And uh, LaSalle is probably just a little better than they are, but they beat them pretty solidly. Uh, and then uh, they only lost by 13 down at Maryland. You know, Maryland, you know, that's, that's a premium team there. That's a team that just went up to Wisconsin and won. Uh, it's a team that went out to uh, Purdue and covered, you know, lost, but they covered. So Maryland's a premium team, and, you know, LaSalle didn't lose by 30. They only lost by 13. So uh, I think LaSalle's a live dog here. Uh, um, they, they don't have a great history against Dayton, but then again, I almost think that's what we're looking for. In other words, I don't want Dayton looking for LaSalle. I want them to just be looking somewhere else and saying, oh, it's LaSalle again. Hmm, okay, well, we always beat them. Well, go ahead, beat them by 10. <laughs> you know, just beat them by 10, not, not 13. Beat them by 10. That's what we're looking for there. So, recap the Charlotte Bowl. We're going to take Wisconsin. Uh, the Cotton Bowl, we're taking Oklahoma. And then college basketball, a uh, big slate of games today. Unfortunately, I just couldn't get to them all. Uh, we got three off-the-wall games. Furman in the SOCON. Campbell in the, I can't even think what conference that is. And then LaSalle in the A-10. That is, the, that is, that, they, those are the plays of today, Wednesday, December 30th. Thanks for everybody that's here. Hit the like button. That makes me feel better. That makes me feel good. That makes me a better handicapper. Help me help you. Hit subscribe. That'll really help me help you. And we'll see you again. From me to you, good luck, good gambling.